Uh, all right. So here, here is uh, here, here's our tier list. I have eleven figures on this list, and we're gonna be ranking them on most based, most likely to be killed because of beans. Who would receive the best head? While this quotes are would be there, wouldn't you? What? If I you would be there, wouldn't you? <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I don't, I don't appreciate those kinds of words. <laughs> While this quotes or teachings, I don't know if we have anyone that'll fit in this tier. Uh, and designated barrel dwellers. But um, yeah, this this is our this is our lineup today. We have, and I have a fucking the whole like the whole fucking list over here on my other screen. We're start. We have Diogenes, Socrates, Plato, Confucius, Sun Tzu. Marcus Aurelius, fucking Niccolo Machiavelli, an Italian in honor of Tartu, because we kind of need one in there. Voltaire is on the list. Pythagoras. What, what happened? Voltaire is a Bohemian character. Vol Voltaire. Voltaire is a philosopher. Yeah. Mm. You, you don't. You what don't. Is I don't know. Oh my god! I did you teach Paolo about Voltaire? Anime? Let's fucking go. <laughs> did you just call him an anime character? No, Bohemian character. Oh, Warhammer. Oh, Warhammer character. Yeah. No, but you're actual Warhammer character. Oh my name. god. You're like, Hold on. You're like I need to change Vol I need to change Voltaire's Bunny. image. One moment. Hold on. He's like, he's like one image. of those kids that looks at Bugs Bunny and just goes, Oh my god, is that big chungus? I wanna die. Yeah, it's not big chungus. No, the things I never heard. I need to change Voltaire's image. How how do I hold on? You know what? I'll just include it. Where where is Voltaire? No, I never heard of him before. Does anyone have a good image of Voltaire from Warhammer? I've never heard of him before, eh, my fault? Are you, are you looking at Voltaurus? Or the Leagues of... <laughs> Apparently Voltaire does not fucking exist. He's Leagues of Voltaire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yo, do you also see hunters? Yeah, fuck. I see hunters every. What do you mean? Oh, I see. Yeah, they're they're. I've called those stratagems in. Yes, I. What the fuck, Panda? Hunters are the best philosophers. If he cannot attack you and needs to run, you win the hunter. <laughs> oh my fucking god! But we have uh Voltaire, the real life one, not the Warhammer one. We have then Voltaire there's of course home. Voltaire at home. Of course, yeah, Voltaire at home. <laughs> this guy. And then, of course, our lad Pythagoras. Uh, uh, an entry from Jin, Mr. Zhang Kui. Yup. And then we have the hunter from Helldivers. So these, these are our candidates today. <laughs> See, hey, my public fingers can't, uh, fucking game characters dead. There's one right there. Fuck fuck up. <laughs> no, 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 listen. The hunter Zhang is a Kui famous is a... ancient Greek philosopher. I have no idea what you're talking about. But right now, I don't have brain power to think about any philosophers. You have brain power? You need to wait for a day and the press. You didn't know what fucked up them very well. You know what? That's actually very... That's very understandable. Absolute mood. Then all of a sudden, I know five different philosophers. Not only will you know five different philosophers, you could name every single one of their teachings, word for word. Oh no, he goes on that like depression binge of stoicism. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, hold on. Which was the one that uh, Marcus Aurelius is a Stoic? Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, wait Marcus a minute. Aurelius I'm pretty sure awesome. I have one of those guys on here. <laughs> Fucking Marcus. Marcus Aurelius is also based as fuck. He is also based as fuck. He is. So all right, you know, what? fuck it. We're gonna start with Mr. Marcus Aurelius, our, uh, our our good guy right here. The 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 fucking the full bust that I managed to actually just put in. You say good guy. I just say conquer. He was not even just a conqueror, like, and this is just all basically just cursory data that I researched, not even research, looked up on fucking Wikipedia like a goddamn idiot. Uh, he was one of the five god emperors of Rome. He was, I think, the, the last one, if I recall correctly. You know, the, yeah. the whole, like, Pax Romana, the 200 years of peace, all that good stuff, and then, you know, the whole fall of Rome afterwards. But uh, this guy was Rome a stoic. Never fell. Yeah, well, Rome never fell. Rome still exists. Just look at Italy right now. <laughs> yes. But Homeboy was a Stoic, and a lot of his like beliefs and teachings were about... Well, they come from his uh, world-renowned book, his Mediations. But most of his beliefs were about self-restraint, duty, and respect for others. But uh, th he apparently had a... Uh, 
he had a disdain for the imperial line that came about or like people had disdain for the line that came about after his death because they did not believe in the same teachings but homeboy was more about like that building up yourself to be a better person and all that good stuff but it's just the ancient way of doing it to where you're actually like you know a good person instead of you know a rampant cun <laughs> Jin, what is yourself up more than where is Sun Tzu? Sun Tzu, our man, is right here. The yeah. uh, stereotype, the, the stereotype. Hold on, let me see if I can pull my courser back mm -hmm. on here. He is right here. Our uh, our stereotypical uh, Chinese man. The the the, the painting, the, the good looking painting. Yeah. Not 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 Sun the not the hot man over here. The, the, this guy right here. Sun Tzu was an absolute Chad. Sun Tzu, yes, yeah, Sun Tzu is an absolute Chad. Like he but, uh, fucks. But Jin, you, you you seem to also enjoy Marcus Aurelius. Do you have any uh, do you have any fa uh, any uh, any words? To oh, I'm blind. <laughs> Don't worry, I have three Chinese people on here. It's very it's very difficult to tell them apart. <laughs> Two of them were alive at the same time, by the way, both during the Warring States period. Did did uh, Pedro mute himself? Bro? Pedro, what? Pedro, what? you what? there? You yeah. fucking idiot! Isn't everybody yeah. most based? Invite me. No. Do you know who Niccolo Machiavelli is, Panda? I'm yeah, sure. A fucking dungeon. Invite I'm sure a lot of people board. would. Is that is that Nico Cado guy? Nico Cado. Oh my fucking god! It's fucking Nico Cado Who would win in a in a debate? Marcus Aurelius or Nico Cado Avocado is like the same fucking meme of like coughing baby versus hydrogen bomb. <laughs> Coughing bomb versus atomic baby. Coughing bomb versus atomic baby. Which one would win? Pedro. <laughs> Pedro, make me make me fucking oh leave. Oh my Are fucking you god, dude! But, uh, I know your internet is slow. I didn't realize that you were slow. Get the fuck out of here. No. We're, we're having a very the... serious discussion about philosophers, and then it's just proud crying in the back as he's a, being physically abused by Jin. I'm all here for I'm... it. Where's my popcorn? I'm doing all the work, fucking logging in and logging out, resetting the dungeon, and then he I has the to reset it, man. And yes. then he has the audacity to fucking give me shit. Get the fuck. Get the oh fuck my out god. Of here. Where, where do you guys here. think uh, we should put Mar uh, Mr. Aurelius over here? Uh, what is what is your tier list? Yeah, our tier list. Most, I, I have it fucking open on stream right now, you clawed. Based. Saitama votes based! Oh, cool. It's reset. Now, now we're gonna go. Stupid, stinky, hello. hello. So our tier, our tier list goes. Most, I guess it's less of a tier list, more of just like personal opinion. Most based. Most likely to be killed by beans. Who would receive you. the best head? Oh, Wildest uh, quotes Marcus or teachings? Aurelius, he would receive the best head. We have best head. I have an entry for a philosopher. I really like when Mild beat so I'll say, why are the guys talking about when I'm talking about when he was not paying attention? You know what? That's actually a really good point. Hold on. Well, hold on. That was great with the philosophy right there. One moment. Let me let me include that. I need a candid mild pick. Does anybody have a candid mild pick for this? A candid mild pick? You mean face reveal? Face reveal? <laughs> it's just Bjorn the Viking. <laughs> Beard reveal. Uh, there I, we go. I, re I really like the <laughs> philosophy, right? Or like, damn, he doesn't pay attention. Like, oh, what are you guys talking about? I started. I, I remember that day. It was great. I, I was. I was losing my mind. If fucking you doesn't mean it needs to feel good. The hunter. The hunter has a lot of good quotes. I will say that. I was like, stereotypes are insulting and they're not real. Meanwhile, Kyle, so we, the living stereotype. And like, we have best head and most based for Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> Yeah. This just means that since we had this, since we had, you know what? The best head, he's Roman, so like, he definitely gives the best head. It's not cheating. That, it's that's, a, that, that's a very good point. He's Roman. Like, he, he, he is Roman, so he would 100%, it's 100% best head. All right. Mar just Mr. Just Marcus Aurelius is going into the best head section. Beautiful. Like, it's just culture at this point. Yeah. <laughs> It would be insulting not only, if he said otherwise. Not only would he receive yeah. the best head because of his stoic beliefs, but he would also receive the best head because just because he's Roman. <laughs> Who would also give the best head? Who would all, yeah, he would also give the best head by proxy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this I'm fine. <laughs> Saitama is fine with that. <laughs> yeah, <'cause> it's true. <laughs> 
besides all of these oh panda panda has a word all right panda what's up look at his head he does have really he has a really good bust i will say that like the, the head on this bust phenomenal oh I my mean, god i just realized what what his hair reminds me of what does his hair remind you of it it reminds me of those motherfuckers that are like like the like gen z gen alpha kids with like the perm oh my god the perms you fucking see everywhere <laughs> That's what he reminds me of. I forgot about the... I've seen... like I don't think I've ever seen so many perms until I started working in retail, which is phenomenal, because you would never think that a perm would become popular, but no, every fucking child underneath under the age of 20 has a fucking perm for some reason. It's gross. It is disgusting. I saw five, pe like five different families walk through the door of my store once, all of their kids had perms. The males and females all had the same fucking perm. And I'm looking oh, between all of them. I'm like, did someone break a printer at this point? Like, what the hell? Nah, <laughs> dude. The same perm. No, bro. Clearly, they're all fans of Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a good, that's a fair assessment. <laughs> Thought he was going to talk about those Gen Z's that look like 40 year olds. Oh, uh, we're not going to be talking about that because, uh, I saw oh, that's that's Jim. that's like fucking shitty Botox, right? Yeah, were, weren't you the one that showed me the video of like this one woman who's like not how old is she? Like twenty three? She had like a she whole bunch like, of plastic surgery and Botox injections. Yeah, but people like, kept saying she look? looked like she was forty. Dude, she looked older than me. I mean, oh you're my god! You're the natural fan by no, 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 no! Shut the fuck up! Yeah, no, in, Jin, no, no one can look in, older than you. It's just no one in, can be older than you. You're in, just forty in, billion in, no, years no, old. No, no, no! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> in in complete seriousness, she looked older than me, and I am almost thirty. So yeah. are you, by the way. Yeah, I, apparently, I look and act like but I'm younger than I am, which was funny to hear while I was at work. I'm like, you guys I mean, know I'm like almost like thirty. <laughs> Sometimes I get carded, and I'm just like, oh, me? <laughs> oh, no. The you know? world went back to the 1980s. Saitama is correct. We need to go forward in time again, please. But, like, the... Panda, the, that's because you are five. Um. <laughs> yeah. The the issue with that, right, with, like, all these, like, Botox and all these, like, lips injections and the fear of aging, you, you accelerate your body so much. Oh, one hundred percent. That's ba that's basically all that happens. The the rapid acceleration of all like the body's processes. It's which is why sad. millennials look younger than they actually are, and Gen Z looks older than they actually are. <laughs> it's also the stress that Gen Z faces as well. Oh, one hundred percent. There is so much shit to stress about these because, days because they're so because they're so um, what's it called? There's so much information, right? Yeah. It's so much easier for them to be like, oh, we're absolutely fucked. Saitama acts like he's 97. So you basically just sit in a rocking chair all day sipping from an old sipping from sipping from a vintage teacup. Wait, how old is Saitama again? I have no fucking clue. I'm assuming he's probably around our age from the way he memes. That, that's that. just my assumption. <laughs> oh my we have fucking high school level humor that the millennials are basically known for. <laughs> mm. Missy Junkie Panda. Every, somebody once asked if I was 60 years old because of the way I texted. That's hilarious. <laughs> I got memed on because the way that I hold my phone, it's not, uh, it's like old people holding their phone. Oh, are you like phone? a full hand, the second hand lifted farther away from it, and you're like squinting at it, like like two feet away from your face? No. Oh, how do you I hold your phone? Have, I don't really know how to describe it because it's just a natural thing, you know? I don't know if I mean, anything Jesus about you could be considered though. natural. You guys are mean. So, Tom was born after the year 2000. Okay, so he's probably around Prow's age. Oh, he's a child. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> hello, hello there, Sonny. Do you need your bottle yet? <laughs> Mild, you ain't a philosopher. Listen, I am one of the you greatest need your philosophers. Cereal warmed up because it's too I mean, cold for be your little fair, delicate fingers. I have been called old because of my hobbies myself. You're like, what's That's fair. I mean, have you seen how, how your fucking icon looks? A little rat dude yes. dressed like an old man. <laughs> What the fuck no, are you talking about? So myself. What the fuck? <laughs> I know. Hold on. Do I have? Do I have? Do I have Prow in here too? Wait a moment. That's all I, I do. I think. Hold on. I have a screenshot of Prow. I can include him on the list too. One Guys, moment. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna have to do a rate my fit tier list. Bro. Rate my fit tier list. 
The only difference is that my glasses are not sunglasses. The only difference between me and my character. My little Rate fucking my... eye cold. Rate my Rate fit, tier list. fit tier list. Bro, what I'm talking about? My feet is fresh. Fuck off. Here we go. We have, now, now we have fresh, proud included. Known for known for great phases or phrases like "suck me off." Uh, Mild goes no, straight into barrel dweller. Yeah. Barrel dweller. <laughs> dweller. I agree. <laughs> agree. The council has spoken. The fuck. <laughs> Mild goes into barrel dweller. <laughs> Honestly, I, I I I agree with that. the The total consensus is mild barrel dweller. Do we have? Is that the total consensus today? <laughs> we have mild. This is a piss and die jeans barrel. Mild oh, wished that he was the piss and die genius's barrel. I I I wish I could reach that level. I honestly do. <laughs> I wish I could sink that low. <laughs> I mean, for all we know, it's gonna be pretty musky in there, you know. Oh, definitely, one hundred percent. I mean, if you're sharing the barrel with me, definitely. Oh, huh? mm? oh, what? Okay, let me show up there. Excuse you. Let me one. Okay. Okay. Did I hear that right? Don't worry, man. Just that space trip off and join me here in Coffee in the World. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think I want to at this point. It's lukewarm, natural, <laughs> naturally, uh, naturally wait, produced mineral water. Wait, who is Luke, and why is he warm? Well, he can't be Darth Vader because he's cold and dead. So there you go. Fair point. <laughs> Spe speaking of diagenes, I guess going back through uh, Barrel Dweller. Oh, what, where, where do we think diagenes himself is going to go? This is a man who. For all his life was basically homeless. He lived in a barrel. And the greatest things that I can think of him is uh, running into a lecture hall when Plato was describing a man. And then he held up a plucked fowl saying, here is your man. And forced him to change his fucking definition. Mm. He all There's also, I fucking posted a meme in the Discord. Where uh, people threw bones at Diogenes and called him a dog. His reaction was to get on all fours, lift up a leg, and piss on them for it. That's fucking... Dude, I, I swear to God, he's he's like... He's like a that guy is insane. He's, it, This he's, is a man like, that knows exactly what he's doing. He would surely die by bears. This, is, would, this dies by beans, just so you know, Panda. But uh, that, that'd be, that, that would be Pythagoras, but we're not there yet. I swear to God, all you would have to do is extract some of his blood, and it's just pure bath salts. <laughs> hey, Thrill is here. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> we're we're rating philosophers. Uh, don't worry. All of these. Uh, oh, pardon me. All of these are very real philosophers who have said many great things in the past. <laughs> Also, let me let me go to let me go to, to Panda's uh, redeem right there for a second. Narrate this. Yacht, Mitsujungi Panda Tower. Riz, Mitsujungi Panda yeah. Tower. Skibidi toilets. I don't, I don't. And if we combine them all together, we get sticking out your yacht for the Rizzler. You're so skibidi toilet. Uh, what? Yeah, man, you got to be Rizzler. <laughs> Why ain't I there, Dude, Panda? I need you to. I need you to submit a picture of yourself for uh, for the tier list for me to put. Or submit there. like or submit like an avatar or whatever the fuck. Whatever or the fuck I, you want to call. Hold on, let me. You should put Jean. You should put Jean there as well. For, after all, he's one oh, of the greatest of history. Oh, no. I, I need to find a. I need to find the picture of a generic old man as well as a uh, as well as a generic now picture of Panda. Hold on, hold on, hold now on. Now that you're gone, now that you're gone, now that you're gone. Where? If you if you want a picture of an old man. I showed the picture of No, give me one moment. Hold on, I found the perfect picture to use for Panda. One moment. Let me just just bear with me for a second. Huh? Get it? <laughs> Outer God. Oh, yeah, find... this looks like Here we go. Save this. You find a good picture of an Outer God? Well, here, let me show a picture of 
Oh, like, yeah, oh, how is his No, he was like in kindergarten, like, as a Here, you can really you can just use this. I fucking found it randomly. There you go. Use that one. At least make it lore accurate. Well, we're, we're already kind of making it lore accurate, so. I think this one looks like from. I think this one, one. looks like from. Yeah, this one we have Panda right here. This that we have, Bro, we have Panda. Why? Now, why are you fucking we stuck on an end? You Bro, know I'm what? I kind of like Prow's picture a little bit better. Damn. Jin Jin's picture is also really nice. Hmm. Let me see. Let me let, let me see, flip let a coin. Let me let, let me see. Let me send it to you. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. <clears throat> Do we go with lore accurate Jin or lore accurate Jin? I'm gonna have Proud decide. Hmm. Hold on. Let me see if we can add something for this. Because one is lore accurate Jin and the other one is lore accurate Jin. Hold on. I have an idea. I have like have derailed. Idea. We've been derailed from this entire tier list altogether. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Hold on. All right, five minutes. We have five minutes for Proud to give us a lore accurate gen. All right. <laughs> give, give me five minutes. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a, welcome to our latest gas leak. <laughs> so, what, what did we decide for Di for Mister Diogenes again? Grab one punch man PNG for Saitama. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I ain't looking like no. When, this is lore accurate panda. Don't worry about it. This is 100% lore accurate panda. <laughs> oh what? lord. You know what? Fuck it. Let's also include Saitama. I can put both both those pictures in Photoshop real quick. Let's find the best picture of Saitama. This right here works. Save. I have did, did, today. Today is today's stream has been derailed so hard. No, it, it, it's been derailed even harder than me. I will say that. Hold on. Diogenes is going in the based category. All right, that is completely fair. All right, here we go. We have Saitama. Diogenes moves up to based. All right, we're getting a picture of Jin from Proud. Let's see what he let's see what he gets. I need to like cut off this. Oh, he he he's still working on. It. All right, all right, we're gonna move on to the next one, which is uh, Mister. Uh, hold on, that that is the wrong thing to open up. It's gonna be worth it, man. Don't wrong worry. slide. Wrong slide. There we go. We're gonna go with. Mr. Socrates or Socrates or who, however the fuck people <laughs> will show you a better picture you will like and I <laughs> post it in the Discord panda. I'll change your picture out. <laughs> Actually, I'll use both. You will love to use that picture. Of <laughs> oh my god! Just so you guys know, I have no idea how to remove pictures from the list, so uh, it's gonna kind of stay there. Oh my god! I hate it. I'm gonna use it. What did you put? Where is it? Panda posted a picture of himself. That's disgusting. That is absolutely... No. That is vile. <laughs> Where? That is the most vile thing I've ever seen. Where is it? What the fuck? <laughs> he posted it in media. <laughs> that is the most vile thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I, cannot, I cannot express my displeasure at it, and I will put it on, uh, on the list. <laughs> you know where that's from? He searched Pentagon. <laughs> that is definitely better than the picture that I chose. I will say that. Can I? I, I cannot remove that picture. All right, we're just not going to use it. Proud, do you have your? Uh, send me your picture of Jin, or better yet, post it in Discord as well. I tried. I tried to make it perfect, man. You're trying to make it okay. Perfection requires time. Yeah. Right. Well, Back to. I do like a fusion, a combination. Okay. Back to, back to our uh, our Soc or Soc Socrates, Socrates. This is a man who uh, was alive, of course, in Athens, in Greece, and uh, he pretty much is best known for uh, how he died, which was questioning fucking everything. Panda's dying of laughter and cringe at the same time. <laughs> oh, we'll be dying to something, that's for sure today. <laughs> but. 
he was uh, he was on trial for having you know questioned the Athenian government in all of their you know practices and what they were doing, and he was basically saying that they were going to destroy themselves over time, so they didn't really like that, and uh, they put him on trial, and eventually he just insulted everyone to the point where they just wanted him dead. But my favorite part about like his whole like history and story was apparently, and this is I guess a secondhand account. I don't know how true it is. He was told by Plato from when he went to the Oracle of Delphi. He asked the oracle who the wisest man in Greece was. And the oracle had said that, in fact, Socrates was the wisest man in Greece. Not believing it for a fucking second, the man went on a quest to prove the oracle fucking wrong. And during his travels, he was talking to many statesmen, poets, artisans, all manner of proclaimed, self-proclaimed intellectuals. His findings revealed that they were all full of shit. None of them were intelligent whatsoever. <laughs> and his whole re uh, realization was that he is, in fact, the most wisest man in Greece because he knows how much wisdom he does not even have. So, so his uh, objective was proved how big his dick is. Yeah, basically, his objective went from, I'm going to prove the Oracle of Delphi fucking wrong, to, wow, they're right, I got the biggest cock this size of the rock. <laughs> Where do we think that we should put Mr. Socrates? No, I think he's right. His dick is big. His dick is big. Do you think he would receive the best head? Mm. Or do you think he's the most based? I think he's based. You think he's based? Okay. Jin, what do you think of Mr. Socrates? Chat, what do you guys think? Where do you think Mr. Socrates should go? Mm, Starfish fearless. just making sure the stream isn't some late April Fool's show. <laughs> Socrates, Socrates, Socrates. Were you like zoning out my entire rant on him? A little bit. I think I can't read it. Sounds about right. Uh, ah, yes, speaks Portuguese, my favorite quote. So Thomas thinks he should go based. Socrates, Socrates would have been based. killed because of beans. Socrates is pretty based, though. He is pretty based. He was considered like the father of, all, of like a lot of stuff. Like I said, my, my favorite story about him was trying to prove the Oracle wrong, and then he just wound up proving them right on accident because no one else was nearly as smart as he was. <laughs> he would surely get the best head. We have two votes for based, one for best head, and one for killed because of beans. Hmm. Now this is quite the turn of events. I definitely think he would. I definitely think he would be getting. Oh. Oh. I definitely think he would probably be also be getting the best head, but he is extremely based. If you tried to suck up Socrates, he would just keep asking you why you're sucking him. It would completely ruin the mood. <laughs> Saitama is correct. He would 100% do that. <laughs> that be. Let's toss a coin for the Witcher. <laughs> I would say the base has it though. Socrates 100% head is. Socrates. So Socrates on Socrates nuts. Oh my fucking god. Homeboy is going to go in base. Simply for the fact that he would intentionally just piss people off. And I love it. This coin says number tails. So based. Absolutely 100%. Alright, we have Mr. Diogenes. And Mr. Socrates are Bro, both. This, this, game, this is looking good. Gonna enjoy it. Almost done. You're, you, he's almost done. Both I'm, of them I'm are now. For you, by the way, what happened? Huh? I'm waiting for you. By the way, you little fuck. Right, let me go. Let me go inside. Well, <laughs> fucking wait faster. Both of them are now based. Mr. Marcus Aurelius would receive the I'm best make, head. I'm making an and, icon for you, man. And we have mild hot sauce, the man, the myth, the legend himself, down here in Barrel Twelve. <laughs> Oh god, who who do I have next? I have fucking play this is the this is the one that uh Thrill who responded to me on Twitter with, by the way. This is this here is Mr. Plato. Not not the not the uh not the moldable clay stuff. But uh Plato not, himself not not the moldable clay that you eat. Oh one hundred listen, the blue Play-Doh tastes the best and you cannot convince me otherwise. Plato <laughs> did So Plato, and uh, we, I was given um, a favorite qu uh, quote about him from uh, Thrill Who. 
<laughs> They've always enjoyed Plato's theory about humans originally having two heads and two sets of body parts. This pissed off Zeus to an unnatural degree, and his solution to the problem was smiting humans to the point where we had two people instead of one. <laughs> Bro, so this, guy look, this is looking so good. So hence the whole soulmate thing. Yeah. yeah. And then that, 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 that leads to like the, the whole soulmate scenario. If Plato doesn't taste like Play-Doh, then he goes to Barrel Dweller. <laughs> Panda has two limbs and two, bi two big limbs. I, I do whole. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, listen, God might have to smite you for that, Panda. Crazy teachings. I, uh, I, 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 I kind of agree with that. It's either Barrel Dweller or teachings. Because that's actually fucking has, great. Diogenes also had crazy teachings. Also, Pedro, where the fuck are you? Listen, Diogenes. You're, you're gonna see what I make, you man. You're gonna, you're gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna send for you first, you so I can like have the preview. Okay, okay, okay. Diogenes was just me. living his best life. He believed people should live humbly, like dogs, and he fucking did. He lived in a. He was a homeless man who lived in a barrel. No, I remember he, that guy. Yeah, <laughs> he he held up a plucked chicken in a in a in a fucking debate hall. Like, come on, th this guy is. Zeus would let him get killed by beans 100%. We have so we're gonna put Socrates right here. Not Socrates, fucking Plato. I'm getting I'm getting my my, my guys wrong. Socrates is up here with with, uh, with Diogenes being based. No, Diogenes he he had he had fucking wild quotes. Oh yeah, 100% where, he did. Pedro, where the fuck, bro? But he suck a bean. Dog, I'm I a... swear to God. You, you're gonna Jin. see, man. Don't worry. My fucking <laughs> EXP scroll's running out, bro. You probably should have thought about that before deciding to employ Pedro in a joy in a joy. Jo I'm gonna stop fucking speaking at this point. Fucking <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! That was a that, that was a painful stutter. I swear to God. <laughs> No, it's done. Jin, I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, good oh. lord. Alright, what? <laughs> my dog sucked a bee. <laughs> my dog sucked on a bee. <laughs> my dog sucked on a bee. I have your XP. I have, I have your Why picture. Why did I look baby. into Panda's eye? Good question, Panda. I have your picture. I have a picture, Jin. Where you are. I'm here. What the fuck do you want? You need to see it first. I'm, I'm waiting. He Hello? Said, send it to him in Discord. Come on, do it. And then send it to me. My god, he's so slow. Actually, better yet, post it in the fucking server. <laughs> there oh, you go. fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> he insulted me. I'm saving this for posterity. <laughs> what are you fucking media, you whore? <laughs> this is absolute perfection. I hate it. Let's go. Come on, it's hold on. You, isn't it? We're we're burning daily. Here it is. <laughs> I'm not sure this is you. That is surely Jen. You're you're yeah you're y'all for those of you not in the Discord server, y'all are gonna see it. <laughs> what a fucking asshole, man. And open. There it is. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> small. It's an eldritch abomination with tired eyes, a beard, and a cane. <laughs> It, it is glorious. <laughs> Jin is scared of the truth. You cannot deny the truth, no matter how many years you've been alive. <laughs> speaking, speaking of Jin, yeah, where do we think Jin would go on this list? So, if, for those of you who don't know the deep lore of Sensei Jin, one of my one of my mods, he was alive since before the dawn of time. And See, this is one, a lie. No, it, it, this is the truth. Don't worry about it. He does. He doesn't. He doesn't know. Um, <laughs> it's an on God lie. One day there was nothing, and then he farted, and the universe came into being. And as he was exploring eternity, uh, he decided he wanted to get a taste of what the mortals were feeling. So he decided to start, you know, inhabiting the bodies of various different creatures around the universe, until eventually he got to Earth. And this is what, like, the, the 10th or 15th generation that you've been taking over now? I'm like 5th billion. 
your yeah. same generations is quite the uh, small number. <laughs> the one thing I hate about this bit is that not only do my IRL <laughs> friends agree with this, but they can they can unify themselves and have a topic. They 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 have a common topic to talk about, which is me being old as fuck. And I'm like, you guys just met like two seconds ago, and already I'm being attacked. And they're like, yeah, my it. my my favorite part of this whole bit is your girlfriend. The one of the first things she starts calling you is grandpa. Yes, <laughs> that's my favorite part. Bro, show your girlfriend's so picture and send it to you. <laughs> Oh my so god, yes, 100%. Here, we need to send, to send it to her. Okay, now he okay. ate a big spoonful of beans and... We have... Th I think we have three votes for beans right now. I would die to beans? Excuse me. Yeah, apparently Jin would get killed by beans. <laughs> I love coffee, and the, it's basically just bean soup. What do you mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, coffee is basically just bean soup. He ate a big spoonful of beans coffee, and shit. Jin had a date recently and would have received the best head eventually. Yeah, that would, that's eventually, though, but I think we have more votes nah, for Beans nah, at this man. point. It's, a, it's have, a wholesome thing, bro. We have our first member of the Beans category. <laughs> Thank you. I'd rather we be have, Beans than receive the best fellatio, bro. <laughs> so, so, so far, we have Diogenes and Socrates as the most based. Sensei Jin as being the most likely to get killed by Beans. That's kind of rude, but right. Marcus Aurelius <laughs> receiving the best head. Plato with the wildest quotes or teachings, and then mild hot sauce is our designated barrel dweller, right? <laughs> it 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 wouldn't even be like the best head from like a guy or a girl. It would just be like the best head in general because oh, yes. <laughs> most likely one of his soldiers would give him the meanest yeah. sloppy of copies. The, I mean the meanest sloppy toppy. <laughs> I mean, bro, who else? in like ancient history is man enough to be like yeah i'm like the ruler of like an entire empire but i'm no bitch and he fights on the front line like hello 100 oh, yeah. that that is why he is the man that will receive the best head he is he's, he's he probably gives the best head as well he's roman he probably does <laughs> now on to the next subject of today's rank. It, we th this has been fucking great so far. I hate it. <laughs> what do you mean you hate it? This th listen. It so this much. is this is top quality right now. <laughs> it's so cursed. The next on our list is Mister. Aren't we all just dogs? Not just <laughs> just not dogs. Panda. I, I think you you're see? getting a little bit too close to the truth right there. That dog guy, he's definitely a barrel dweller because in premise that he literally lived in a barrel. You're not wrong, but also he's already cemented as most based. Hmm. Speaking of Panda, though, as he's as he's posting in his philosophies of sticking out your yacht for the Rizzler, you're so skibbity toilet. Um, I hate it. Where do we think Panda would go on hmm. this tier list? Panda would surely go into the barrel. <laughs> he would also go into the barrel. He would. He would he be the, the barrel. He would be the baseline of the barrel. He wouldn't even be able to stand on top. He'd be scrunched up, bro. He'd be scrunched up like like Houdini's assistant. What do you mean? <laughs> it's unanimous. Panda is also the barrel dweller. <laughs> we have two people in the barrel now. I wonder who else will appear. <laughs> I'm almost done with this fucking dark <laughs> bullshit. Oh uh, god, speak you know what? We have we have three we have three people from like Discord and Stream Chat already on the list. Let's go for the fourth one. Where do we all think uh, Prow is gonna go? Yeah, uh, I'll be the best head, man. I say, it, it says receive the best head. I don't think you would give the best well, head. Wildest quotes. He has some fucking insane quotes. Oh, yeah, 100%. Prow has some you of the most insane the most quotes ever. Unhinged form of speaking I've ever heard. And I'm like, I'm so glad your mom does not speak English. But at the same time, I kind of want to teach your mom English. So I, I, I would love to teach your mom English just so you could get hit with a sandal. 
get it. <laughs> I would I would pay to see that happen. I would pay Agreed. big money to see that happen. <laughs> wait. Pedro, wait. Pedro, wait. Oh, Pedro, my wait. God. He has the wildest quotes and teachings. He 100% does. He's up there with the great mind like Plato. It says, I don't need the requirements for this ability, but it... Oh, fuck. Man. Weird. Let's round. Let's round off the, the the stream chat and Discord. Where do we think Saitama is gonna go? <gasps> Saitama is one of the local Brits who uh, comes in and oh, hangs out with the, things already. Who comes in and hangs out with us in chat? Known for. His uh, mom wasn't me, but it was your bet who started it. Saitama, <laughs> Saitama is crazy. <laughs> Saitama is pretty insane. I almost feel like he also deserves to be in the barrel uh, with me and Panda. He actually does, but he does do a lot of like sabaton quotes too. There we go. Um, Jin, I'm gonna put this here. What's up? What's up? What's up? Where do you think we should put Saitama? Uh, if I'm gonna be honest, mm. in Saitama's humble opinion, he is based. <laughs> you see, that's not very humble at all. Calling yourself humble and then be like, yeah, yeah, I fuck. Like, okay, okay, get off. Okay, okay, little Jimmy. All right. <laughs> like, kind of, kind of whatever, man. You know. Where, where, where would you put him though? Would you put him in based? Would he be killed by beans? That's another good one. I think he'd be killed by beans. You think yeah. he would get killed by beans? I think he'd be killed by beans as well. We have two I am for now beans. Training. Another one. Panda. What do you think? Would Saitama be likely to kill, get killed by beans? <laughs> Saitama, he, he also says he's also funny. <laughs> yeah, kill by beans. Kill by beans. Kill by beans. <laughs> he will not just choke. He will just like, pass away. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not even choking. I don't think you understand where, where, where I'm coming from. Like just, just by beans, I mean like we're gonna pelt him like like the good old Stone Ages with no. beans. You know what it is? It's like he's gonna be in an alleyway, like trapped, and there's just in front of him four beans with top hats and trench coats, just beating the shit out of him with bats. And and fucking Tommy guns. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's a Valentine's Day massacre just with fucking beans. Bless up. <laughs> Oh god, we have two for beans. <laughs> oh no, oh, where is where is fucking, uh, glorious. Fucking, fucking Jack the Ripper? Where's Jack the Ripper? <laughs> we gotta make it lore accurate because Saitama is is uh it's a butler, of welter, you know? Listen, I'm not gonna say that Saitama is Jack the Ripper, but we've never seen Saitama and Jack the Ripper in the same place at the oh, same time. Oh, I was time. gonna say he was gonna get killed by Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Saitama will become like a cell in our human body. <laughs> Are you yeah. sure you're human, Panda? I don't know if that's true. No, Panda's not human. Panda's German. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Now we're, now we're going to move on. We have... And Jin, you might know him. You've probably met him in one of your previous lives. Oh my god. We have Confucius, one of the guys who was. You know what everyone on the fucking list has in common? What? All of them are known by Jin when they're alive. You know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> Jin has probably met all of these people. Jin, do you have anything to say about that? Hello? He definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. I will be right back real quick. Saitama so may have been me. around in Victoria, London. Maybe I maybe not. I ain't <laughs> My was calling me, I shall be right back. Oh my god. But we have I, I guess when they come back I can I can always ask them. We have Mr. Confucius, who is someone who was alive in the uh during the Warring States period of Chinese history and came up with the Confucianism line of thought and one of the things that he had proposed during the confucianism line of thought um one of the golden one of the golden rules do not do unto others what you do not want done unto yourself um 
you can kind of, I guess, infer his line of teachings just from that line itself. But, um, surely based. Oh, 100%. I mean, great. What little I know of Confucianism, and, like, th this just goes back into what I was learning in history and, uh, fuck, was it high school or college? I remember nothing from either of those, by the way. Um, but I remember reading up on Confucius a little bit during college, and I was just thinking, myself, I'm like, between, between Confucianism and Taoism, like, both of them are really fucking based. <laughs> like, especially, treat others like you want to be treated, 100%. Also, Fun fact, I'm looking up, I, I think before all of this, I was looking up, like, most, fa like, the most famous or recognizable philosophers. Fucking Confucius, Sun Tzu, not even on the list. And these, <laughs> these guys are, like, major, fa Sun Tzu has shit that's still being used nowadays, but we're not on him oh, yet. Oh, completely. I want to be dominated, so dominate others. Wait, what? <laughs> Fucking oh? what, Panda? <laughs> but, um... Confucius, we have uh, we have a most based for the lad from the Warring States period. What do you think, Jin? He's do not do war. unto others what you do not want done unto yourself. Our uh, our golden rule man here, oh, who is also apparently not on any list of great philosophers, which I think is crying shame. <laughs> Where the hell did Pedro go, by the way? Uh, his mom was calling him. Basically speaks Portuguese. Mm. I, I I agree with Panda. I, I think I think Confucius should be just dro should be dropped into most based. What about you? You did you deafen again? No, I'm no. here. You're here. You Fucking pay attention, bitch! I'm talking to you. Yeah, and where do you think we should put Mister Confucius? Confucius Probably Confucius or Sun Tzu? Uh, we're, we're on Confucius first. Oh, uh, well, Confucius, he, he contributed to a lot, even now. It's still, like, a crazy amount. <laughs> so you think most based? Mm. Or do you think we should put him in, uh, res would receive the best head? I would say his teachings are pretty based, if I'm going to be honest. Do we, we have another vote for based? I think Saitama also agrees. Probably even the most quoted person ever. Yeah. 100%. We have a most based for Sir Confucius, a warring states Chinese philosopher. Also, I, like... Why do you, why do you keep saying warring states, bro? Well, he was alive during the Warring States period, like, you know, the, the, the whole Three Kingdoms stuff. One moment. But the Warring States specifically referred to Japan. What was that, Jen? The Warring States are specifically referred to uh, Japanese history. The Warring States period. Is that Japanese history? Yes. Because they had the Warring States. Well, because I was also because when I was fought, looking up at least him and Sun Tzu, there was um, they referred to like the period where they were alive as also warring states. I guess it's either or, but well, yeah, it's like the the romance of three kingdoms type of shit, which was in China. <laughs> it's pa Panda with a narrate this: the one comes will not come, and you uh, neither do I. Mild is huh? racist. Confirmed. Excuse you. <laughs> Yes. I thought this was common races. knowledge. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, you are racist. Oh, 100%. Technically, Clip all of us are. Clip it. Clip it. <laughs> no, no, out of context. Uh, <laughs> got export. It, <laughs> are we are we ex are we exporting tier lists now? We're going to We're going to move a little bit farther down the list. I have the hunter from Helldivers, who has great quotes such as, the best defense is a great offense, in which case, many Helldivers have been absolutely rocked by hunters during their playthroughs. Where should we put the hunter from Helldivers? Saitama admitting that they're so racist, they transcend beyond racism. <laughs> 
Is it actually racist if you're the same way to everyone, though, Saitama? Good question. That hunter is still being quoted hundreds of years later. <laughs> they're also they're also something that is heavily quoted. Jin, where do you think the hunter should go from Helldivers? Barrel Dweller. Barrel Dweller? <laughs> I fucking hate that hunter. Not being quoted, he is still quoting. <laughs> we have a we have a barrel dweller vote, most based from Panda. <laughs> Do we we have one for most based and one for barrel dweller? Where I have no say in this. Saitama, where do you think the hunter? Do you think they're based or do you think they're a barrel dweller? We have quotes such as "Get they ass." And I summon the fam, where they all get out of a clown car and run your fade. You cannot deny the truth. <laughs> Honestly, their tactics work. It is literally just overwhelmed. <laughs> he's an annoying bitch, but he's still based. Oh, sounds like cringe barrel dweller. <laughs> we have two votes for barrel dweller. Panda, this unfortunately means that you and I have to share barrels with the fucking hunters. <laughs> oh my god. Cringe barrel dweller. I'm going to sandwich him between both of your pictures. Hold on. This is actually great. Nah. <laughs> both pictures of Panda are going to sandwich the hunter. You, you can go ahead and cuddle with it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Saitama is <laughs> Saitama is, Saitama is the most likely to get killed by beans. <coughs> now, speaking of beans, we're going to move on to the next topic of discussion. Sir Pythagoras, who is um, well known for his hundreds of canonical deaths, most of which um, being, let's see, he... He refused to cross a fava bean field and was killed by assassins because of it. He was also, um, he he was also made to escape a burning building by his disciples lying over the flames and creating a bridge. He then committed Sudoku afterwards. Um, he was also killed when he fled with his disciples. They took refuge in a temple and starved after forty days of not having any food. The, three of the many canonical deaths of Sir Pythagoras. Saitama has no dweller. right to vote any. Listen, a, you think this was a, a democracy? This is an authoritarian dictatorship. Dude, he was a barrel dweller. What do you mean? He's a panda. Panda's a bit. Or do you think? Or do you think Sir Pythagoras is a barrel dweller? Pythagoras. Pythagoras is barrel dweller. Hmm. What? What about you guys in chat? Do you think he's barrel dweller? We have a vote for beans from Saitama. What, some of the many canonical deaths of Pythagoras. It's either a barrel, a barrel dweller or like the wildest quotes. I do think he has some pretty wild... We did get the Pythagorean method from him, which is the uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. He, he is kind of a math nerd. He is top of beans tier. He's a math nerd. No wonder he fucking died. <laughs> Yeah, like like I said, like I said on Friday, it, it is a math nerd that got into politics, so that's why a lot of people did not like him. Oh my god, he's the fucking um. Actually, I hate. Yeah. Him. <laughs> he's he's literally um. Actually, holy shit! I I kind of we're, we're between wildest quotes and barrel dweller on this one. Everybody who does math is... I swear to fucking God, man. <laughs> I kind of want to keep Pythagoras away from you on this list. <laughs> Wildest quotes. I definitely... Yeah, you know what? I kind of believe that. I mean, granted, that also goes into from what site... He literally got killed because of beans, but Diogenes was also literally a barrel dweller. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, from what site Tama posted on Friday that started the whole Diogenes posting scenario, barrel dweller is my phone. <laughs> <laughs> we have wildest quotes. Barrel dweller, put him to me. I want to keep him away from you. We're gonna put him. We're gonna put him in wild quotes. 
<laughs> because of his belief that beans relate to humanity in such a deep way that he refuses to cross fields of them. These are the teachings of Pythagoras. What you're telling me is that he's based. Yes. He needs... I swear to fucking God, Panda. <laughs> Oh my! F I I I'm I almost want to put him higher just to keep him farther away from him from you. Oh my God! He need <laughs> what the fuck are you typing? <laughs> Holy shit! Huh? Dude, bro, look at what look at what Panda's typing in chat. No, he needs to go. <laughs> you need to bro, leave, bro. You need some milk, on God. No, no, no. Cre create the Pythagor the Pythagoras theory. Oh, you know what? You're one hundred percent right. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. That, 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 that. That's incorrect. One moment. Let's see. Add row below. New creation of the Pythagoras. I forgot how to spell. There, he's gonna be even higher. And I, I kind of love how Pythagoras is so long that this that this uh, website puts the e underneath it. I'm gonna keep it like that. I will climb to him. I need to keep Pythagoras away from you at this point. We are in the main timeline. Pythagoras has died so many times on this planet that we that he has his own multiverse. Oh my god. Next, uh, Jin's entry into this uh, into this whole thing is a uh, Sir Zhang Kui, who is a tactician from folklore, who was so good at his job, so many battlefield victories that he was inv killed by beans already. <laughs> that he was invited to the Imperial Chinese Palace to have an audience with the Emperor. Uh, he was denied access because he's ugly as fuck. I mean, just look at this beautiful face. Um, in response to uh, being told no, he banged his head against the door to the palace and died. He, like, in which case, for, like, days. yes, he was like he was like Kratos level mad. After he had died, he was given a job by the spirits of the afterlife to uh, you know shepherd new people coming in because he was so good at his job. You know, being an absolutely phenomenal tactician. If you're so good at fighting, you forget how to eat beans. <laughs> we have, we have received best head, and we have beans. Jin, what do you believe? Do you think Jean Cui would receive the best head, or would he die by beans? Probably both. Probably both. <laughs> Let me. Let me get a second picture of Zhang Kui in here real quick so we can put him in both tiers. He'd be appreciative of the head. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll add him a second time. We'll put him in both tiers. Oh, that's wildest. Hold on. There we go. L let me use a coin. <laughs> the people have already spoken, Panda. I don't know if you can use a coin. <laughs> Head means beans and tails means beans. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now we have, while Panda decides on beans or beans, we have next another man from the beautiful country of China during the Warring States period who wrote about many different theories of battle and war that were used to great effect by many different armies. We have Mr. Sun Tzu, who it's wrote not the book. different armies. It's just like, like, he changed so much of how we do, like, proper war. Not even that. Like, his book is used by business majors to run business. The because art of war. war. The art of bi the big yeah business is war. War is base. Sun Tzu need I say more? <laughs> get him to me. I need to get Sun Tzu away from Panda at this rate. <laughs> Panda, you're already cuddling with a hunter. What do you need? What do you need more people for? 
<laughs> so most based. I think we have three votes for war is based. Top of most based. Even in front of Diogenes? Hold on. Hold on. Even in front of Diogenes. Should we put him in front of the man, the myth, the barrow dweller? Alright, we have a yes. In, fir <laughs> in first base, we have a son to zoo. Followed close in both ways, I swear to God, man. <laughs> we have Sun Tzu. We have Diogenes. We have Socrates. And Confucius. All of whom populate the majority of most based. <laughs> He's technically directly above. He is technically directly above you. You are correct. We're just <laughs> fucking down here in barrel dollars. <laughs> Oh, God. We have two people left. Jin, who should we do first? We have Niccolo Machiavelli and Voltaire. Who should we rank first? You can rank Machiavelli. We will, Machiavelli it is. So, we have Niccolo Machiavelli, the greatest headshot I've probably taken because his entire portrait that I've seen... A really small head on the widest fucking body that I've ever seen. Almost as wide as Kingpin from Spider-Man. Um, this is a man, if you understand uh, Machiavellianism, you probably know who he is. He is the, right, the author of the book The Prince. A man who believed that the intention behind any action justifies the action. And... Someone who believes that one should use deceit and treachery to receive, to achieve their goals. Oh, so it's just evil. Yeah. Where do you think Machiavellianism comes from? <laughs> like, this is the man, the myth, the legend. Niccolo. He's not a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> Killed by beans. He's so, he's so dead. I mean, can we, can we have some quotes? Because his quotes must be insane. I can't, I, I, I. I I think I need to find those. Hold on. Quotes like, by Niccolo like Machiavelli. If, if, Desh, if Machiavelli is like that guy, I feel like his quotes are fucking nuts. Let's take a look. Oh, the world has always been the same, and there is always as much good fortune as bad in it. That's, that's actually pretty good. One who deceives will always find those who allow themselves to be deceived. That was another good one. <laughs> barrel dweller. Breathing makes you breathe. Basically. I also, I don't even know if these quotes are true or not. I just literally Googled it, and these are the things that are popping up, so I'm assuming they're, they're correct. If an injury has to be done to a man, it should be so severe that his vengeance need not be feared. That's from the prince? Excuse him? I actually do like that one. <laughs> That's a good quote. He who wishes to be obeyed must know how to command. These aren't even that bad of quotes. That's actually pretty good. Men will not look at things as they really are, but as they wish them to be and are ruined. <laughs> oh my god. Where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. Okay, this guy has... It's not even wild. Is he French? He's Italian. This is an Italian. The Frenchman is Voltaire. Also, kind of figures that the Italian would have uh, The Prince as their book. Oh my god. Let me go... Instead of looking at these, let me go into here. Top, five, top 25 quotes by Nic Niccolo Machiavelli. Let's read... The top five. It is better to act and repent than not to act and regret. That's that's a, that's a good fucking quote. Hold on. Power is the pivot on which everything hinges. He who has the power is always right, and the weaker is always wrong. These are fu 
A sign of intelligence is an awareness of one's own ignorance. This isn't even wild. These are based. Hold on. This is... And this is the guy... And this is the guy that Machiavellianism is based around. The belief that the intention behind an action justifies said action. Like that type of shit. Hold on. Hey, yo, is Niccolo Machiavelli secretly based? Always assume incompetence before looking for conspiracy. That... Honestly... Th th this is... Th this is shaping up to be based. Hold on. Elon Musk, I'm so confident. I swear to God, Panda. Where... I, I think we're... Who... What do you what do you guys think? Should we move Machiavelli up to most based? Yeah, put him in based. I honestly think he's based. These quotes are fire. <laughs> like on God, Jin, do, do you agree with this? Yeah, his quotes are pretty based, but I his, feel like his teachings are kind of rough. Machiavellianism itself is like rough as hell, but this man himself has some good quotes. Like whole, I did not expect that. And put, put Pythagoras to me so I can give him his aggro. Shut the fuck up, Panda. <laughs> oh my god. Wildest quotes would be more appropriate. I don't even know if those quotes are wild. Because those are just, like... Granted, some of them mark the extremes. But honestly, they're pretty fucking good quotes. I, I'm kind of torn on that. Should we put him in both tiers? I think we should put him in both. Hold on. Nah, they just make sense. They, they, they I, I am gonna be a hundred percent honest with you guys. I did not expect. I did not expect those. Flip, want me to flip my Zatch bell? <laughs> that is a. I don't know if we need a coin flip for this. I think we have another daily double here, like how Jean Cui was in Receive Best Head and most likely to be killed by beans. We have. Machiavelli in most based and wildest quotes. Because honest to God, very base but wild quotes. Like really good. I didn't expect that from this one. Hard like hard unexpected. Hold on, we need to add to you're right. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Todd Howard. We do need to add Todd Howard. We need the best picture of Todd imaginable. Where is... Why is... Why is Todd unironically very photogenic? Like, hold on. Wait a minute. We'll use, we'll use this one. This one? Yeah. Let's get, let's get our boy Todd Howard in here. Save... And I my... am here. Welcome back. You missed a lot. Yeah, you missed, my you missed a lot. <laughs> that means. Did you did you hear the, the Machiavelli segment? No. Nah. Please tell you that is the biggest unexpected turn I've ever I've ever seen. Mm. He this is the let, let me just like go back in time a bit and like tell Prow about Machiavelli. <laughs> Todd Howard Barrel Dweller. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Hold on. I think I, I agree with Kevin. Todd Howard should be there. I oh, know he's already there. Yeah, I, 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 just, I just put him in there. Never mind, I'm blind. Also, Tony Stark. Tony Stark is the best philosopher. <laughs> Tony, Stark was, Tony Stark is great because he was making weapons in the Middle East. <laughs> but we have, we have now Todd Howard and Voltaire. Todd Howard already has a vote for Barrel Dweller. But Todd Howard is a one of the greatest philosophers of our time who took a look at the next-gen console and said, let there be Skyrim. And so people around the world fucking bought multiple copies. <laughs> where, where should we put Todd Howard? Let me also, while we deliberate, let me also look up Gabe Newell. Gabe Newell, I think, would probably just be in base because uh, his thoughts on piracy is it's not a matter of price, it's a matter of service. 
it really Which, is probably the most base quote I've ever heard. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll do we'll do Mr. Gabe after we do uh, Todd Howard. Let me let me save him to the folder real quick. This folder is just full of people that probably shouldn't like, be in there. Like even if your service is available, if it's cheap, people are still gonna buy it. To it's like yeah, if it's cheap. Oh, one hundred percent. We have a vote for Todd Howard as dying by beans, and we also have a barrel dweller for him. I was like dying by beans. We have a second vote for dying by beans. Also, get the fall of seventy. Todd is the scum of the barrel. I will say this: my opinion on Fallout seventy six is, as someone who's played like other Fallout games before that, it doesn't feel like a Fallout game. It feels more like a looter shooter MMO with a thin veil of fallout over it. I mean, isn't that the same thing as so? Like, it doesn't really feel like an Elder Scrolls game. Yeah, it, it, it feels more like a generic game. MMO than it does like an Elder Scrolls game. I would say a generic MMO, because it is very unique, especially with the combat. Yeah. But it's definitely not an Elder Scrolls game. Yeah, it's definitely not an Elder Scrolls game. But I, I, I wouldn't oh, necessarily oh. put him as Barrel Dweller. Gavin, did you see Jin's picture? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, send Jin's picture to send Jin's pic. Actually, it's in it's in media, so you so Starfish can look in there. <laughs> also, most base philosopher is the guy who says, "When you have a bad day, give up, go home, and s sleep. Listen to the universe." <laughs> oh god, don't let him, don't put him close to me either. I'm gonna put him close to both of you now. I'm gonna get another picture of Todd Howard to put him in both Barrel Dweller and Beans. <laughs> Let's get another yeah. picture of Todd Howard in there. That's like Gene's picture, Starfish. That's like he's true. Second he's true Todd Howard. Me. Todd Howard will be in both categories. <laughs> if you do that, I will unfollow. <laughs> I will leave you. Panda, I will tell you this. You will be extremely bored without us here. I'll tell you that. Damn, we, we have lost nothing. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh enough. my god. Todd Howard dwells beneath the barrel dwellers. Hold on. Wait, we need a new we need a new category. Hold on. Add row below and it'll just be called Skyrim. Hold on. We'll do we'll do this color. And it'll just be called Releases Skyrim for the fifteenth time. Put Skyrim, put Skyrim 6. Skyrim, <laughs> Skyrim 6th edition. No, Hold on, that's actually me. better. Put, um... Parentheses hey, you, breaks mods. Put, hey you, you're finally awake. Hey you, you're <laughs> finally awake. No, but I can't wait for Skyrim 6 to release. The next, like, Skyrim franchise game will release me. We'll put him in there twice. I have more time for Helldiver. <laughs> Skyrim 76 Special ed HD Edition. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey you, did you finally bought Skyrim for the 100th time? Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm encroaching on that number, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh shit. And since we have Todd Howard in his own category... Where do you guys think we should be putting Gabe Newell? The man, the myth, the lit... Mr. Va John Valve himself. The creator of Steam. Whose... Base. Whose whole business base, practice base. can be summed base. up by... Piracy is not a matter of price. It is a matter of service. Bro, bro base, base. Sometimes he forces companies to like put localized price on the games, otherwise they don't make it to the store. Based. One hundred percent based. Based. We have we have based. homeboy goes in based. He you know what? He sits up there with Sun Tzu as based. Based. Just put him into scam. Okay. Imagine motherfucker creating platforms becomes a monopoly, but it doesn't become a monopoly because he's doing anything about it. It's just that his service is better than everyone else, so everyone just uses his service. And the, not even just that. Other companies that try to make their own services have to go back to him because their service sucks. Yeah, like. It's is like a monopoly. I can agree with that, but like he, he really wasn't trying to. He just keeps. <laughs> he's, he's literally just doing his own thing. 
Like, it's finished, it's just provides the best service, that's it. Like, <laughs> I have Epic and I use it now and then, but like, in comparison, it's like so much worse. <laughs> like, it's so much worse. There's so much, like, uh, like, my favorite, the Origin Launcher, which I'm fairly no, certain. No, yeah, EA Play. EA Play. Still shit, by the way. Still, Still shit. shit. But wait, hold on. Which which one was it? Was it Ubisoft or was it EA that said that, like, you don't own your games, and yeah, they, and if you have like thirty, if you have like more than X amount of time of inactivity, we will just delete your profile. Ubisoft. That was Ubisoft. Fucking, hold on. Let me let me include Ubisoft real quick, just so I can shit on them. Let me just include Ubisoft to shit on them real quick. I'll have to add a I'll have to add a tier below below Todd Howard just to say Ubisoft sucks. Just Where call the it? tier Ubisoft. Just call it Ubisoft. See, I was gonna put a blizzard in there as well. There we go. I'm gonna be honest. I, I wasn't listening. What'd you say? You can put Blizzard in there as well. You know what? You make a really good point. Ubisoft. Let me also look at Blizzard. I spelled Blizzard wrong, believe it or not. <laughs> no surprise. Have you seen yourself? <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, I typed in yeah. Blizzard and all I get is snow. All right. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's coarse, grainy, wet, and cold. It gets everywhere. Hold on. Downloading the pictures. Well, not download. I'm stealing them from the internet. I'm gonna intentionally spell this wrong because I can't be bothered. Let's go. Yeah, sure, definitely. Shut the fuck up. Please, <laughs> uh, please. Add row below, and we're just gonna give it. Let me make it this color. What should we call? What should we call this category? My, uh, which one? Uh, the one for Ubisoft and um. Blizzard. Blizzard. Just call, no, call it. Just call Ubisoft that. You be you be Blizzard. Blizzard. Bl Blizzards. You know what? The, 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 this fucking one. You be Blizzards. You Blizzard. That that that's fine. This is fine. That's fine. We'll add Ubisoft and Blizzard. <laughs> Don't ask why, but they now exist as the bottom tier. <laughs> they are bottom Just tier. Absolute shit services. Oh, fucking atrocious. The most garbage. I the the thing I remember about Blizzard is like the most recent thing that I can think of is uh, when Zen was doing her run as unintentional no hit against uh, Slave Knight Gale. The Blizzard launcher had a mandatory update that interrupted the game. Caused her to die, and then she just uninstalled it. <laughs> bro, those launchers pop up are so fucking annoying. Like they're uh, so <laughs> annoying. Absolute uh, dog shit. Every games has like little pop ups from like games come out and whatnot. Like they're so annoying to get rid of. Oh, one hundred percent. You absurd, soft absurd, bluffed. <laughs> oh my god, bluffed is so much better. They're they're in they're in the bluffed category. <laughs> My bird right now is on my back and she's sleeping with that. She's sleeping. Does she also agree with this placement? Oh, you're Probably back. Does. Uh, Pedro, should I go back on ESR or no? Nah, nah. All right. All right. I mean, back for a while. How did you know, sis? <laughs> no, you you were gone. What the fuck? I've been mean? back for a while. He's been back for like 10 minutes. Where have you been? I know. But how did you, you know, sis? Dude, you just yeah. fucking left. So I left. What the no, fuck? You are out. So. He you're he out? even said that he was calling. going because his mom was calling him. What do you mean? Yeah, but nah. right here. I don't know how you missed that entire section of speaks Portuguese, but apparently he did. <laughs> Jin has a crush on Pri I 100% think that's the case. What Jin, you might want to be careful. He'll use his Eldritch powers against you. Uh, Panda, are you talking to Thrill? <laughs> yeah. Like, excuse me. Oh my god. We have the last the last philosopher on our list. 
Trout isn't here, so I leave. <laughs> oh my god. The last philosopher on our list is Voltaire, a Frenchman, someone who believed in the freedom of speech, the separation of church and state, and the freedom of He's religion. He's also the Warhammer guy. He's also the Warhammer guy. But um, this is a guy who had a lot of... He's the French barrel dweller. (laughs) This is... He's also someone who faced exile in France because... And this is probably the most base thing I've ever heard. He made fun of the Catholic Church. That's great. He, I think, before he got exiled, I think he wrote like two or three different books to where he criticized not only the Catholic Church, but also the French nobility. (laughs) Something about right. And he based, <laughs> immediately Panda writes in based, criticizing the French and the church. But hold on, let, 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 me, let me pull this back up. Let me just write in Voltaire. Because there, there's specifically, he wrote satirizations of both classes, and that's what he got in trouble for. And his, uh, his polemics would... Um, they would satirize the intolerance and religious dogma of both factions, and he did it to the point where they got so pissed that it was either you face imprisonment and die, or you just fucking leave. <laughs> and that, that, that is what this man was accused of. Be annoying. Being <laughs> annoying. <laughs> so basically just being French. Um, what is, right, he, what is he from California? Yeah. <laughs> Also, he was, um, he did eventually return to France after a while. Uh, he wanted to see the latest stage production called Irene, which was a tragedy. Um, on the way to the stage production, though, he thought he was going to fucking die because he was 83 years old and was having a lot of health problems. His quote as he's lying on what he thought was his deathbed, deathbed, I die adoring God loving my friends, not hating my enemies, and detesting superstition. Uh, turns out he wasn't dying. He immediately got better afterwards, went and saw the play, and it took another three years until he died of an illness. Beautiful. We sit on bad bitches. The spear in ABR is going to get buffed. Let him get killed. <laughs> so, are we going to put him in base, or is he dying by beans, Panda? <laughs> Which one do you? Which one are you p- picking here? <laughs> I honestly think that like just because like he was making fun of the of the Catholic Church and the French nobility, he just deserves based. Sai so, based time. <laughs> Saitama, do you still do you still keep your vote as barrel dweller, or do you also think based? Where 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 is your vote still? I hate him simply because he's French. <laughs> Beautiful. At least he's consistent. <laughs> <laughs> he's extremely consistent. I, can, I, I respect that. I respect that. Oh my god, what? For the French don't exist. <laughs> uh, what about what about you guys? Do you do you also do you agree with base or do you agree with uh, put him in the white flag tier? Oh my god. Our fish is base. That that was based as fuck, bro. Oh my god, white flag tier it is. We're gonna make it. We're gonna add a row, and we're gonna make it. We're gonna do this. It's just gonna be called white flag. <laughs> and here it is. <laughs> put Voltaire and put him in three seconds loose. Oh my god. Holy shit. We need to add Ernest Hemingway. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Ernest Hemingway. He's an American novelist, short story writer. Let's hey, see yeah, here. Just you know what? Let's let, let's let Saitama regale us as to uh, his, his views on Ernest Hemingway. I don't have a picture of him saved. Hold on. Let me grab. Do have I don't even have myself saved. Yeah, I know. Have you seen yourself? Yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> if I oh was my to make God. him happy, nah, he had to bring him down. <laughs> you need to be humble. Let him know. 
Oh my fucking god. I had to make sure I mean Rumble Baby. Why? He told you what? I tell you Me. what. Just look up his life in three minutes. Listen, Saitama, I don't think you understand the homework I just gave you. <laughs> I don't I don't think you understand. We need you specifically to tell us about Ernest Hemingway. That tier list was once about philosophers. What are you talking about, Pat? These are all famous world renowned philosophers. What? Especially like Todd Howard down here. Like he inv this is the inventor of Skyrim. Oh my god. Famous philosopher. The no, the reason why he's a famous philosopher is because he's he's the true stoic. He's the true stoic. It just, just works. Look, true just stoicism. Look, yeah, it just you know works. He, got a point. he does have a point. And this is like just look at the face of this man. He is so photogenic. Like obviously he's a famous philosopher. You cannot tell me that he's not. Fuck I got mad. <laughs> oh my god let me also look it up i'm gonna I, of course i'm gonna go to everybody's favorite resource of finding out anything about anybody which is wikipedia the fakest website known to fucking man <laughs> let's see let's see oh he was in world war one hold on after being rejected by the U.S. Army for poor eyesight, he responded to an international Red Cross and Red Crescent movement recruitment effort and signed on to be an ambulance driver. In Italy, he, he was with the American Red Cross Motor Corps in Italy. Oh, shit. Sailed from New York, arrived at Paris, was under bombardment by the German artillery. He arrived at Italy on his first day in Milan. He was set to scene a munitions factory. He was sent to a munitions factory explosion to join rescuers retrieving shredded remains of female workers. Oh my god. He described the incident in his book Death in the Afternoon. I remember that after we searched through searched quite thoroughly for the complete dead, we collected fragments. Oh, okay. There is wisdom in whatever anyone says, just some aren't worth more than some are worth more than others. <laughs> Look up life and times of Ernie, Ernest Hemingway, Randy Feltface. Wait a minute. I think I remember what you're talking about. Was this the rant that Randy went on about this guy dropping grenades on sharks in the fucking Amazon? That's Hold crazy. on. I think I think that's him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, that's fucking him. I'm that was part of it. Oh my god, I'm remembering what you're talking about. <laughs> ten out of ten would watch him grenade sharks. Hold on. We're adding a new tier. What the fuck was that? That was a <laughs> grenade drop. You scared the shit out of me, Panda. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Grenades, sharks. We're going to put Ernest Hemingway in that tier. I think he also had like several different wives that he killed himself. Another, another one of those beautiful people. What color should we? We're going to make him. We're going to make him this color. Ten out of ten would watch this man grenade sharks again. Oh my god. It was German U-boats. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't... We're just gonna keep it as grenade sharks, because I've already fucked it up. <laughs> he didn't kill them, just divorced them. I, I remember very little from that clip, but you know what? Absolutely watch... Hold on. Let me fucking pull it up real quick. You tab. Open up YouTube. Ernest Hemingway in three minutes. Randy Feltface, draft one. Story of Ernest Hemingway told by Randy Feltface. I'll grab the one that Randy himself posted because he's fucking amazing. For those of you who've never seen Randy Feltface, he's an absolute riot. I 100% recommend him. But this is 
our tier list of famous philosophers. If I can prove that they're attachment balls. Frat 100% belongs in wildest quotes. You promise that another soul would choose some. <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> what now? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I do not like this. This is no what? longer in the re- What? What? Prow needs to go in front of Plato with wildest quotes. Mm hmm What do you mean? This is no longer Plato's show. This is Prow's show. What do you mean? Oh Thank you. I'm finally God. validated. I've I'm been finally validated. For such mean? a long time. 